a rare genetic disorder, making life almost unbearable for a 21-year-old Central Arkansas woman. THB 11's Winnie Wright tells us about the risky skull replacement the woman will undergo in the hope of getting her life back. I'd say over the past few years, we've ended up in the ER over 20, between 20 to 30 times. 21-year-old Amber Tedford lives in a world of darkness. The lights are dimmed inside her Austin, Arkansas home, her way of preventing the vicious migraines that have plagued her for years. Every single day, wake up with a headache and just play it by ear on which medication you're going to try. And I've tried just about all of them. The young mother, who dreamed of being a teacher, instead spends her days you. in and out of bed. It feels like the migraines have just completely taken my life away. In her teens, Tedford was diagnosed with fibrous dysplasia, a rare condition that causes scar-like tissue to develop in place of normal bone. It is most commonly found in the arms or legs. In Tedford's case, it is her skull, which is now three times thicker than it should be in places. She had part of her skull removed when she was 16 and replaced with a titanium mesh plate. She kept the piece and showed it to me. So as this was growing and pushing on all my nerves and stuff, it was causing all of my pain. But the surgery wasn't a success. As soon as I had my surgery at 16, it's like my whole life completely changed. Like it ruined my life. After years of suffering, Tedford was directed to a world-renowned neurosurgeon in our own backyard. Dr. Ali Krisht was able to put together a medical plan to tackle Tedford's pain in a matter of minutes. His course of action, a skull replacement. The back part, almost 60-70% of it is going to have to be removed. It's all involved. So that's, that's a fairly good, good kind of volume and surface area. A complete skull reconstruction from here all the way back to my brain stem. Dr. Krisht will first try titanium mesh, the material that was used in Tedford's previous procedure. A building with steel and concrete in a way, kind of the strongest concrete is when you have steel rods in it. It's very much the same. <coughs> we, we lay down the mesh, which acts like the steel mesh, and then on top of it, there will be the bone uh, paste. Dr. Krisht is confident that his team will be able to get all that fibrous tissue out this go around. But if that doesn't work, he will turn to a 3D printer of sorts to create a model to fill the hole in her skull. Tedford says she doesn't care what they use as long as it works. I'll be able to make new dreams and new aspirations and actually be able to do them instead of just wish that I would be able to. Instead of being able to be excited, relieved that surgery is just around the corner, Tedford and her husband, a mechanic and Army National Guardsman, are worried about how they'll pay for it. We just can't do it. We've prayed and we prayed and we prayed and you know, we know God is here for us and we know that everything is going to be okay, but, you know, it's still stressful not knowing how you're going to pay your bills each month. Winnie Wright, THV 11 News. The Tedford Skull Replacement is August the 7th. It's expected to cost around $10,000. Her friend set up a GoFundMe for her, and if you'd like to help, we've got a link on our website, THV11.com.